how is plasma helping fight against COVID-19? In early February, the China National Biotech Group said in a statement that they have successfully prepared special immune plasma products and used them in the clinical treatment of severely and critically ill coronavirus patients. Plasma treatment can be traced back more than a century, and it has also been used in the fight against SARS, H1N1 aka swine flu, H5N1 aka bird flu and Ebola. During SARS, patients who were treated with plasma had more favorable prognosis and fewer side effects than those treated with antiviral drugs. So how is plasma helping win this battle? First things first, if you aren't familiar with plasma, I don't blame you because it's an often forgotten part of blood. White blood cells, red blood cells and the platelets are important to body function, but plasma is the fluid that carries the blood components throughout the body. Surprisingly, plasma itself isn't red. When the plasma is isolated from the blood, it's yellow. Okay, now we can start explaining how plasma works. When the organism gets infected, it produces a specific antibody through humoral immunity. And the plasma of a cured patient contains this kind of specific antibody that removes the pathogen. The convalescent plasma has something called neutralizing antibody. When it gets transfused to a patient, it can technically stop the virus from combining with the self-surface receptor and then stop the disease progression. If you couldn't understand a single word that came out of my mouth, let me put it into simple direct English. The antiviral plasma is the enemy of the novel coronavirus. When there's no vaccine or specific medicine already in place, the antiviral plasma becomes the treatment. But the plasma treatment cannot be used as a monotherapy. It has to be combined with clinical manifestation while applying other antiviral and maintenance therapy at the same time. In late February, 91 among 197 patients who were treated with plasma and monitored for a 48-hour period showed significant improvement in their condition. So CNBG has been calling on recovered patients to donate their plasma to save others. Up until February 29th, 544 people have donated their blood after having recovered. But can anyone who has recently recovered from COVID-19 be a donor? Zhang Dingyu, the director of Wuhan Jintan Hospital, has said that recovered patients have to be between 18 to 55 years old and to have recovered for at least 14 days before they can donate their blood. If the person is in good health, the age range could be extended to 60 years old. Before the donation, he or she has to undergo screening tests to make sure the blood is free from the novel coronavirus, HIV, syphilis, hepatitis B and C. I'm sure now you're asking yourself, isn't this treatment risky? I mean, which isn't? You are infused with someone else's plasma, so of course there may be uncertain rejections or allergic reactions which can lead to acute respiratory distress syndrome and multiple organ failure. This is the biggest risk with this treatment. However, like I said at the very beginning, this treatment is for those severely and critically ill patients. So if you don't use the plasma treatment, the chance for survival is extremely low. But on the contrary, you may live and be healthy again, despite the risks. Again, plasma treatment is the best option when there is no specific medicine. That's it for today. If you want to watch the previous episodes on how to know if you are infected, wearing a mask and disinfecting during the outbreak, please click on these video links. I'm Ning, I'll see you next time.